friend, Dr. Charles Apoki, and I'm reaching you from Abuja. I'm about to go and speak. I have been talking about social intelligence, and there is an issue I want to look at. Number one, control of your anger. Number two, your treatment of your debtor, that person owing you. Uh, I've had three experiences. One was a young man who owed me for about three years and he didn't pay. One day I met him at the airport and he paid me the money he was owing me. Since then he had bought shoes for me, he had given me money, he had introduced me to people. Thank God I handled him very carefully in his state of hardship. And there's another young man yesterday sent money to my account. He bought books from my wife. He couldn't pay for up to three years. And the tendency was to handle him roughly. The tendency was to label him as a fraud. But God helped me. There's a place in the Bible that God said, I have restrained you from sleeping with Abraham's wife. There are times you need God to restrain you. There's a message I used to preach, if to say. I went to preach in a church. At that time it was cassettes. And somebody just drove roughly past my front. And I wanted to holler. But God restrained me. And the man came out of his car. He said, Doctor, you came to preach in our church. This is the, the, the cassette of the message. If to say, I hollered. What if I had hollered him? And I'm a very tempestuous person. I have this anger problem. But God has been using handcuffs to hold me. The Spirit of God handcuffs me. This young man has run conferences for me, prepared conferences in his city. I've gone there up to four to five times, paid for hotels, given me my honorariums, and he gives me books. Yesterday he sent me money. There was another young man. He just left this hotel room now. I paid for him to do exams into a school. He went, but he started running businesses, owed people money, cut that money, not knowing that he was investing in a quick business here in Abuja. And the business collapsed, and he was owing up to six million. He ran away, abandoned his things with me, and I thought he was an evil person. Sometimes we should sit down and try to put ourselves in people's positions, try to understand why people behave the way they behave. Particularly people like us who are very critical of issues, we must try to put ourselves in people's positions. Today, he transferred money into my account, large sum, and one of the persons I introduced to him that he was owing 140,000. He just transferred 400,000 Naira in this hotel room to the young man's account. The young man was not expecting his money back. 140,000, he paid him 400,000. Took me downstairs to pray for his car. Beautiful car. Whoever knew, he will get to this position. I want to beg of you, as God has helped me to control my anger, control my temper, control my aggression, let God help you too. That when people offend you, that when you have difficulties with people, try as much as possible to calm down so that you don't cause disaster. The problem in this country that this present administration has not handled well is intertribal anger. Anger against Fulanis, anger, anger against Northerners, anger against Southerners, anger against Igbo, anger against the Republic of Nigeria, anger against Biafra, anger. When you see the anger on Facebook, how people abuse people, something needs to happen in this country to calm our minds. If not, we will all regret the consequences. Social intelligence requires as much as possible. Be at peace with all men. That's what the Bible says. I have learned my lessons. I hope you will learn too. 
God bless you. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki.